Chapter 9 Marketing Research and Information Systems These questions are the learning objectives guiding the chapter and will be explored in more detail in the following slides. How do marketers use information systems to create greater value for customers? Can certain marketing research practices cause a firm to encounter ethical problems? What are the necessary steps to conduct marketing research? What are the primary and secondary data, and when should each be used? McDonald's conducted extensive research for this redesign of their restaurants. In fact, the research led them to the conclusion that they have several segments of customers who use the space in different ways. It appears from the message in the ad that research showed that consumers did not like to open cans. It took an easy product and made it easier. Marketing research consists of a set of techniques and principles for systematically collecting, recoding, analyzing, and interpreting data that can aid decision makers involved in marketing goods, services, or ideas. The marketing research function links firms and organizations to their customers through data. By collecting data from customers, firms can better deliver products and services designed to meet their needs. A marketing information system is a set of procedures and methods that apply to the regular, planned collection, analysis, and presentation of information that then may be used in marketing decisions. Because the use of marketing information systems has become more widespread, organizations have vast amounts of data available to them. However, it can be difficult to make sense of the millions and even billions of pieces of individual data, which are stored in large computer files called data warehouses. For this reason, firms use data mining techniques to extract valuable information from their databases. Confidentiality is one of the first rules under the Code of Ethics. Aaron should not give information to the client unless the research respondents have consented to his doing so. Bottom line, marketing research should be used only to produce unbiased, factual information. This web link brings you to the Council of American Survey Research Organization's Code of Ethics. Managers consider several factors before embarking on a marketing research project. Marketing research can be very expensive, and if the results won't be useful, or management does not abide by the findings, it represents a waste of money. This slide summarizes the five steps in the marketing research process. The first step in the marketing research process is to define the objectives and research needs. What information is needed to answer specific research questions? How should that information be obtained? After answering why and how, researchers must determine where they can find the data. Secondary data are pieces of information that have already been collected from other sources and are usually readily available. This data includes census data, the company's sale invoices, the Internet, and so on. But in many cases, the information researchers need is available only through primary data, or data collected to address specific research needs. Marketers can also purchase syndicated data which are data available for a fee from commercial research firms. This table contains information about various firms that provide syndicated data. This slide summarizes the advantages and disadvantages of each type of research. Research often begins with simpler processes and then evolves into more elaborate and costly techniques. Exploratory research tends to be more qualitative, whereas conclusive research often relies on quantitative methods. A museum wanted to know which exhibits people visited most often, so it used observation to conduct a unique study to determine the wear patterns in the floor. This human trace evidence allowed the museum to study flow patterns. Interviews provide extremely valuable information because researchers can probe respondents to elicit more information about interesting topics. Focus groups similarly provide a snapshot of customers' opinions and allow some follow-up, but also are relatively fast and inexpensive to conduct. They might have observed how people tested the durability of bags, 
Perhaps several turned them upside down. They may have conducted interviews about problems, and leaking was a very big issue. Finally, during a focus group, they might have had one participant mention leaking and another to discuss how you would test for leaking, turning the bag upside down. Exploratory research offers firms the opportunity to narrow their questions and thus arrive at a better research strategy. Conclusive research can be descriptive in nature, such as when it profiles a typical user or non-user of a particular brand according to a survey. It can also be experimental, such as when a soft drink producer conducts a taste test to determine which formulation of a green, high-caffeine drink is preferred by customers. Conclusive research can also be collected from the merchandise that is scanned at a store or from a panel of consumers who record all of their purchases. A survey is a systematic means of collecting information from people that generally uses a questionnaire. Individual questions on a questionnaire can be either unstructured, open-ended, or structured, close-ended with a discrete set of response alternatives. Web surveys have steadily grown as a percentage of all quantitative surveys. Although the Internet has not proven effective for online focus groups, Online surveys have a lot to offer managers with tight deadlines, including relatively high response rates, respondents may lie less, it is inexpensive, and results are processed and received quickly. The Internet offers researchers a new way to reach customers, but its use requires adaptations and new research methods. Experimental research is a type of quantitative research that systematically manipulates one or more variables to determine which variables have a causal effect on another variable. An example of an experiment could involve two groups of subjects. One tastes cookies with a national brand and the other with a store brand. Each group rates the cookie on a seven-point scale from poor to great taste. The group with the branded name tends to rate the cookie as better tasting, demonstrating the power of a brand name. Scanner research is a type of quantitative research that uses data obtained from scanner readings of UPC codes at checkout counters. As an example, a firm could determine what would happen to sales if they reduced their price by 10% in a given month. Did it increase, decrease, or stay the same? Panel research is a type of quantitative research that involves collecting information from a group of consumers, the panel, over time. The data collected from panelists may be from a survey or a record of purchases. This data provides consumer packaged good firms with a comprehensive picture of what individual consumers are buying or not buying. Analyzing and interpreting the data should be both thorough and methodical. When the data are interpreted, they become information, which results from organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data, and puts the data into a form that is useful to marketing decision makers. A typical marketing research report would start with a two-page executive summary. This would highlight the objectives of the study, methodology, and key insights. The body of the report would go through the objectives of the study, issues examined, methodology, analysis and results, insights and managerial implications. We would end with conclusions and any limitations or caveats. Many consultants today provide an executive summary, PowerPoint presentation of the report, questionnaire and tabulated study results. Now check yourself. 1. What are the steps in the marketing research process? Define objectives and research needs, designing the research project, deciding on the data collection process, and collecting the data. Analyze and interpret the data, prepare the findings for presentation. 2. What is the difference between primary and secondary research? Secondary data are pieces of information that have been collected from other sources. Primary data are collected to address specific research needs, usually through observation, focus groups, interviews, surveys, or experiments. 3. What is the difference between exploratory and conclusive research? 
exploratory research attempts to begin to understand the phenomenon of interest. It also provides initial information when the problem lacks any clear definition. Conclusive research provides the information needed to confirm exploratory research insights and which managers can use to pursue appropriate courses of action. 4. What are some commonly used survey-based metrics? Attitudes, perceived quality, value, and willingness to buy, perceptions, for example, quality, value, and loyalty, for example, purchase intentions. Conclusive research provides the information needed to confirm preliminary insights and which managers can use to pursue appropriate courses of action. Data are raw numbers or other factual information that, on their own, have limited value to marketers. Experimental research is a type of quantitative research that systematically manipulates one or more variables to determine which variables have a causal effect on another variable. Exploratory research attempts to begin to understand the phenomenon of interest and provides initial information when the problem lacks any clear definition. A Marketing Information System MKIS, is a set of procedures and methods that apply to the regular, planned collection, analysis and presentation of information that then may be used in marketing decisions. Marketing research consists of a set of techniques and principles for systematically collecting, recording, analyzing, and interpreting data that can aid decision makers involved in marketing goods, services, or ideas. Panel research is a type of quantitative research that involves collecting information from a group of consumers, the panel, over time. Scanner research is a type of quantitative research that uses data obtained from scanner readings of UPC codes at checkout counters. A survey is a systematic means of collecting information from people that generally uses a questionnaire. Syndicated data are data available for a fee from commercial research firms such as Information Resources Incorporated, IRI, National Purchase Diary Panel and A.C. Nielsen.